So, uh, Vincent, you want to yes. join me outside real quick? Will do. So me and Vince oh, are going to walk says, wait, outside. Wait, wait, where are you guys going? We'll be right back, Jonathan. Started. We'll be right back. They're getting a cigarette. <laughs> We're going to go have a cigarette. We'll be right back. Um, so me and Vincent walk outside if Vincent is willingly coming out. <clears throat> is that a yes, Jeff? What's, yeah, yeah, I'm coming out. Um, are th and I kind of want to whisper to his ear and be like, I got to kill Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, man, this town needs to know that they can't spend my money buying beer. Yo, we just got pardoned for this entire thing. This is the start of it. We can't... I'm sorry your money has gone to waste, essentially, but you can't... Unless you tell me exactly what's happening. Like, why are you trying to buy a town anyways? I don't, it's a cool thing to do, man. I don't know. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to do it without murdering, man, because we literally Look, can't take the heat. We just got right. done with this. So since you are a nobleman, why don't you go in, into the... Um... All right, here's what we're going to do. You know, this plan, it's going in my head as, I'm, as we're out here talking. As a nobleman, you go in there, and um, I want you to question Jonathan on what uh, he's done with your friend's money. Um I'm going to do that, that truthy spell around kind of the bar so no one in there will tell lies to you. So you can ask whatever you want. And I kind of want you to use your, uh, your nobleness to get the right answers and, and possibly kind of serve as my, uh, my right-hand man, if you will. And then we can also work on this town together, if that's something you want. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can ask him the questions, but... What are you gonna? I mean, what what's what's he gonna say? He's gonna say he's worked on it some, and then he's bought a lot of liquor with it. What are you gonna do? I mean, I I I would hope that one would use your your uh, noble birthright or whatever the fuck you want to whatever the fuck you people call it. I don't really know what they call it. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> prince. Your princehood uh, to perhaps sway them a little bit more into uh, doing what I had asked and rebuilding the town in my name, since we. Kind of worth the group. We could make this a group effort instead of just a Tuttagub effort. I'll do my best, but like I said, we got to stick to no killing for now. Okay. Or you or have you have my word. I will not kill anyone inside. I may just make them somewhat of a fool. Okay. Okay. I'd like a big ferret statue, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Neil. So I'm going to cast uh, Zone of Truth on the bar itself. I think it's about a 30 feet spell, if I remember okay. correctly. I'm checking that right now. The range is 30 yards. Five foot square a level for the AOE. So eight, or what am I? I'm level five, so 25 square feet. Yeah, so you have 25 square feet of air, so. Is that big enough for the entire bar? No, five foot square is a, a five by five square, so you have Oh, oh. You have uh, five five by five squares. That's not big enough for the whole bar? No. Shit. That's like 10 feet by 15 feet. Can you cast it on a certain person and then have it follow them around? Um, Let me read through this. No. When the character leaves the area, he is free to speak as he chooses. All right, so I once again look at Vincent and be like, all right, Vincent, look, I didn't know the spell that well. You know, I've only cast it a couple times. Um, you're going to go in there and start talking. And then as I'm doing this weird little interpretive dance deal that I have to do for the spell to go off, just make sure that uh, they know that it, it could potentially mean certain death for them. But they won't really know what happens once it's done. What? <laughs> look, use it to intimidate them is what I'm trying to say. Well, if they're going to tell the truth, I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's the plan. Go in there, talk to Jonathan. I'll start doing the dance. Yeah. And then uh, we'll just in. We'll see what happens. I approach Jonathan. Okay. Good, ev good evening, Jonathan. And then behind hey, him, I'm... Hey, Total Gubs, buddy. <laughs> What's going on, man? I'm doing well. Um, why don't you have this glass of water I've grabbed off the counter? Why would I drink water when I've got Because I need you to sober up when I'm going to talk to you. Is there something serious going on? Yes. I'm casting a spell now. Dude, what's up, man? Is there a problem? 
Yes, uh, we'd like to rebuild your city, and we'd like to help you guys get oh, up yeah, on dude, your feet. Oh, yeah, we got that, dude. Don't worry about it. Just give us some more money. We're good. We're good. We got well, this. Well, the concern is the money is being spent on alcohol and recreational things and not actually on rebuilding the city. Is that true? So you cast a spell, right? JP? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me just double check a stat here. It just says a saving throw, if that's what you're looking for. Right. Yeah, I just want to see what his saving throw is. Oh, okay. Um, sir, what'd you say, Vincent? I said the concern is that you're not spending all the money on repairing the town and getting up on your feet, but rather some of it on recreational stuff like alcohol and slacking off. Well, it's... Look, you got to lift the spirits if you're going to lift the town. And what better to way lift the spirits than spirits? You know, we can't build a town without making when everyone's, you know, upset. You got to have people cause to celebrate. Otherwise, how are you going to build a town? Well, that's your idea, and that's well and, and that's good. But when a man gives you money to build things and to repair a town, and then you spend that money on your own ideas, don't you think that's dishonest? No. No, because look, look. What, what's his name again? Tuggabut. Tug 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 Yes. I know this. I know his name. It's okay. It's Tudagub. Tudagub gave us a bunch of money. See, but but we already had some. So we spent we spent the money we had on the beer, and we spent the money Tudagub gave us on the buildings. Okay. So it's cool, dude. It's cool. As long as the work is getting done and you guys are remaining honest in the affair, I think that's fine. But just know that um, we're pretty serious people, and when people kind of mess around with, with uh, our money and, and are dishonest to us. We don't take that very well. Dude, I haven't been dishonest with you. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. And I go back to Tugabut and say, yeah, man. They're uh, spending their own money on booze and he seems pretty committed to working on the stuff you want him to. Hmm. <clears throat> so, um, I'll go over to the bartender who I would hope is still in the range of Zone of Truth and ask him uh, who paid, like, where did the money come from for this, for the bar? He says, uh, for the bar? <clears throat> well, I mean, we cut down the trees. We did all the work ourselves. Money didn't. What are you talking about? Oh, you mean the money for the laborers? Sure, yeah. So I'm sure Jonathan told you I gave you guys about 500 gold, roughly, to uh, kind of rebuild the town after we did end up saving it, you know? Um, yeah, I was just kinda... said the, the jolly green giant gave us some money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be like, okay, thank you, sir. I'll turn to Jonathan and be like, Jonathan, come join me outside real quick. Okay. Brigger, what do you do during all of this? I guess I'm just chilling. I mean... <laughs> He's taking shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll drink a little bit. I'm not going to get drunk, but I'll get, I'll get a little buzz. Just have a good time because I don't know. Okay. All right, you're, you're just having a good time. Mm -hmm. Jonathan comes outside with you and says, Dude, since you guys got here, you've been nothing but buzzkills. Look, it's late. We got, had a hard day's work. We're celebrating. Why can't you just leave us be and come in and hang out, dude? I messaged you a spell that I just cast on Jonathan. You have that? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have it. I just never used it. Oh, okay, hold on. Really? When the hell? I thought I didn't let you. Okay. Um, one it's in the second, spell book, Neil. <laughs> you can't retroactively change. Your I shit. know, I know. I just didn't think that you had this. Um... Do, 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 okay. Um... Okay, you cast your your spell on Jonathan <clears throat> and it hits him. Does he, what does do anything, say? I'm like, Jonathan, 
Well, how's he respond? Yo, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Look, all right, I gave you money. I didn't want to come back into town and be ridiculed in front of everyone else in the town. So look. Were you not being ridiculed? Look, I'm going to leave town look, again. You're not ridiculed, dude. <laughs> Jonathan, be quiet. Look, I'm going to leave town again. I got to go check on a friend in Valesburg. Uh -huh. I'll be back in a couple of days. When I come back, everyone better have changed their mind on me, okay? What do you mean changed your mind, dude? I'll give you some more money then. I need to start seeing some more promise from you instead of seeing the money spent on booze. Wait, okay, what do you think is going on here, dude? We're trying to rebuild our town. Okay. Didn't well, you give us money to rebuild our town? I did, yes. And I believe okay. it was spent on booze. No! We didn't spend 500 gold on booze. Mm-hmm. I've we tasted, I tasted the beer, Jonathan. Yeah, it was good, but... It was know. actually pretty good. It was good, I'll give you that. But look, rebuild the <sighs> town in my name, okay? What do you mean in your name, dude? Dude, I saved the town. We're going to change. Look, Willowbrook's a bad name. I'm just saying that up front. Wait, you okay. want us to name the town Tuttagub? I didn't say that. Look, just <laughs> T-Dog's Town. I, I don't know. Something something like that, okay? Okay, so you, you, you gave us this money because you want to buy a town name. Something like that. Why couldn't you just have said that, huh? Why you got to be this, like, sneaky little weasel? That that's just I guess that's my character. Look, we got it. We got to get going to Velsburg. I don't know if we can name a town after you, dude. You said you wanted a statue of yourself. We said I don't know. You said you wanted a church of Jexel. We said sure. We can't. We can't like. You can't just buy it. Uh, our like our undying love. Look, I I think you're a great guy. I consider you one of my close friends. But you can't. You know. You can't buy a whole town. I mean, at least not for 500 gold. I'll worry about the extra money when we come back. Look, we're going to get a room here in the inn. Got to go to Velberg, take care of a friend. And then I'll be back and we'll give some more money here. A couple of days and I'll be back. He pats you on the elbow again and says, You're all right, Tadagub. You're all right. All right, let's go in and have some of that beer. Okay, <laughs> you go in and have the delicious beer. All right, and I'll, I'll go up to... Vincent and Brigham be like, all is well. We continue on to Velsburg tomorrow. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to drink apple juice and sharpen my daggers and spear and backup sword. Right. You don't have a backup sword anymore. God damn it. I forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, Just where? the daggers then. Yeah. Ryan's using your backup sword? No. I, I gave yeah. him the magic sword and I ditched the, the backup sword. Oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, drink with my new friend Jonathan and then uh, call it a night pretty early. Okay. Uh, Bregor? Uh, yeah. Same thing? Yep. Vincent, same thing? Yeah, just hanging out there. Okay. Cool. Um, evening passes. Morning comes. Everyone gets to work super early. Uh, they start going back to rebuilding the town. Same spells, Tudagub? Uh, Yeah, yeah, we'll keep the same spells. Okay. Um, and you guys head off to, excuse me, um, towards Vilsburg. Sounds good. Yes. Okay. Um, day passes pretty uneventfully, I think. Yeah, day passes nice and uneventfully. You guys get to Vilsburg uh, late afternoon after making some good time. What do you guys do in Vilsburg? Well, gentlemen, um, do we just go right to Dalmar or do we have something we want to get first? I think we just go right there, find right. out what's going on. Yeah, I think I don't think we need to stay in town. He obviously knows we're here, and I kind of look up to the tower and... <laughs> give a give the evil eye and be like, we should just go. Sounds good to me. So we go to the tower. Okay. You guys head to the tower. Um, Jen, you get word that the party is approaching, um, and you can go out to meet them if you want. Mm, I'll just stay there. Okay. So I knock on the door. <laughs> With my gloved um, hand. 
Yeah, you go through the whole fear aura thing. It takes you a while to approach the tower, even still. Like, it doesn't get any easier each time you approach it. Um, it's just as hard every time. But you power through. Uh, you get to the door. You knock on it. Um, and the, the disembodied ghostly head is hovering just out on the inside of the door. We're here to see Dalimar. Enter, it says. But and in a spooky, ghostly way. As yeah. I get there, can I be drinking coffee with Dalimar or something? Um, no, he is busy. Darn. Never mind. Okay, we ascend so guys... the stairs and then knock on the top door. Okay, you get to the very top door. Um, and a familiar voice says, Come in, gentlemen. And we walk in. We come walk in. in. Sure. And there's Dalimar just kind of sitting there saying, uh, Your friend should be around here somewhere. Um, and he makes a, a gesture. A gesture. Uh, well, Delamar, we're going to need to see her. Um, you, you kind of took her from us, so we need to know that she's okay. All right, so I, I get there, I guess, at some point. <laughs> yeah. He says um, she will be on her way shortly. Jen, check your IMs. Oh, yeah. Can we? Are we still... Having a conversation, or are we waiting? Yeah, for you're Jen? still having a conversation with Dalmar. She's not there yet. So I'll just be like, "So what? What was that about? I mean, you did that at probably the worst possible time for us, Dalmar." I'm sorry. I waited until it was an appropriate time. You waited until you can make a big fucking show. Let's be real. I waited until you were done with your pardon. I could have done it sooner if I had wanted. Don't give me any lip. <laughs> you were watching us get pardoned. I am a powerful sorcerer. I have many tools available to me. Mm. You know, uh, we can get binoculars too, Dalimar. <laughs> 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 All right, Dalimar. Well, we're here, and uh, you have uh, given us your word that Abigail's fine and on her way, so let's, let's talk. What do you want? I've told Abigail what I need from you all. Uh... My time is unfortunately very limited right now, so when she comes, I would like her to explain it to you and for you to be on your way. Okay. After all, you do owe me a great debt. And what, what's Can the I get your word that if we do this, the debt is paid and you won't be uh, skeeving into parties and yanking our girls out into the woods and all that shit? If you complete this as promised then the debt is paid. What about a little bit more than just the debt? <laughs> <laughs> what about, you know, I found out what these boots do, no thanks to I, you. Can I, can I arrive now and be like, what about the magic crossbow? <laughs> sure, you walk in. <laughs> Look, we'll, work, we'll get to your magic crossbow. Look, Dalmar, these boots, okay? Boots of levitation, all right? Pretty awesome. But I need to know the word to activate them. And I, you were using your binoculars, or however the fuck you were looking at us, all the way west from here. Do you know? Is it within your power to figure out how to make these work? Of course. Well, can it be done if we do whatever? It can be. Will you? No. <laughs> be like, <laughs> God damn it, Dalimar. You haven't done anything for us. You've given us these wild goose chases. Have I not rewarded you handsomely for your efforts? Handsomely? It's like 3,000 gold. So then you don't mind if I take it back? I mean, it's already spent. You're going to have to go talk to the people we used it for. But let's talk more about these boots. You see an amused <laughs> facial feature. Or look come across his face for a moment. He says, yes, tell me about your, your boots. So... These boots, you know, you probably know the wizard, actually, that my father would kill. I'm sorry about that if he did. But uh, he, he stole these from uh, some tower. I don't know really where it was. You know, I was a little, little half-ogre uh, when, uh, when I was told about this. But I need to know how to activate them. Otherwise, I just look like a big eight-foot ogre with pink boots, and that's not cool, Dalimar. You've been wearing these boots your whole life, and you don't know how to use them. Isn't that a little bit embarrassing? 
you it know, is, friend to friend. Isn't it? <laughs> so why don't you help us out here? Because I have no reason to. You owe me a great debt for killing Sir Brightblade. But for you, it's probably, you know, just... And a... it would be very easy for me to let people know who it was that killed him. Right now, people think that he's um, died fighting a wraith. He did. But it would yeah, be very what easy to, you know... <laughs> There was a wraith there when he died. Yeah. <laughs> and he was fighting it. <laughs> well, it would not be any trouble at all to have the real story come out. Well, Delamar, you'll right, have to guys. excuse my friends. They are <laughs> very, very attracted to obtaining shining things wherever they see fit. Um, they often are. We'll, we'll do this. I mean, we'll at least end the discussion, but we respect your power. And we know that you can do a great many things, but it needs to be said that we value our lives too, and if you threaten us, we'll have to defend ourselves. So just let that be known. There's no reason to make threats like that. So, Ab Okay, uh, before we leave... Oh, was he about to talk to me? Yes. Okay, go, go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, would you please tell your friends all about the task I have set for you on your way down out of the tower. Yes, I will do that. Um, I was wondering if you could make it easier for let me find his name Oris to come by the tower and not feel threatened or How do you mean? Well, the aura of fear is going to be like, not nice. <laughs> no, there's nothing I can do for mm. that. All right. Well, I'll just think about that magic crossbow, and I give him an elf wink as I leave. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, um, you guys start heading out of the room. I take it. I guess so. Mm-hmm. Abigail's okay. just kind of like strangely like, oh, I send my crossbow, and then she just like walked out of the room, and we're like, all right, I guess we go with her. So, what do you guys do? I mean, kind I, of as strangely we're follow her out of the room. Yeah, we're just going with Abigail. Yeah. She's got the, the quest She's supposed to explain something to us, so we're just kind of... She hasn't said anything. We're just kind of, like, following her. Apparently so. Did you say... <laughs> when you were talking to Dalimar, did you say somebody's name, or are you saying the fear aura? I said someone's name before. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, we can go sit at the end if you want to do this by yourself. I mean, we're not getting anything no, out no, of it. No, so. no, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys. So as we were walking, I say, all right, guys, so we need to convince a very particular priest to come visit uh, Dalamar at the tower. His name is Uncle Oris, and he lives in the town Corbin. Who's Cor Uncle? What, what's it's the town name? name? That's just his name, Uncle Oris? Corbin. Yeah, his name is Or Uncle Oris, and the town is Corbin to the southeast. And he wants the priest alive and uninjured. So don't decapitate him. And I do not open my mouth and I say, charge. Because now I have a ventrilo ventriloquism ability. <laughs> what? <laughs> Non-weapon proficiency ventriloquism. Yeah, what? <laughs> Non-weapon proficiency. Uh, uh, she has ventriloquism. She's learned a little bit of ventriloquism over as she's been leveling up. So but she had a, a list of things to pick from, and she picked. No, I just gave. I assigned it to her. Like I assigned you rope use when you leveled up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't even What's know I had mine? rope use. I thought I just always had rope use. What did no. I get, Neil? I'm stick with um, the rope. You are halfway through learning blind fighting. Blind fighting. Yeah, you're halfway through it. It's a. It takes a lot longer to learn than other things. Do I even want to know what I got? Fight? Uh, <laughs> you can feel really cool. Um, JP, you got brewing. Nice. Yeah. What can you do blind fighting? Like they can. You don't get a penalty to attack when uh, you're blinded or fighting in darkness. Sweet. It's good. Yeah. Man, that sounds, I like, forgot that sounds my... like something I would do. Yeah. I forgot okay. my original ID it was so good. I was All gonna right. pretend I couldn't speak anymore. <laughs> All right. So we have to convince this guy to come here? Uncle Ormus? What was his name? I think it's Orifice. Orifice? Uh, Uncle Orifice. <laughs> Is that his name? Uncle Abigail? Orifice the priest. 
Will you type how to how to say it in in Skype, Neil? Uncle, uh, no, Uncle she's gonna tell Oris. you. O R U S. O R I S. Oh, okay. Can Uncle. you, Abigail? Can you uh, can you write that down for us? Oh wait, never mind. Let's uh, <laughs> let's continue Actually, on. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can write, but not read. No. <laughs> no. Let's uh, let's continue well, on. So we can read what his name is. So I'll like draw a weird design. Trying to illustrate an uncle. Um, so can we like knock him out with a potion and then bring him here type of thing? Or I just kind of have a weird flashback. Be like, well, th the last time we tried to do that, the guy's head was off a little bit later than that. I, why don't we yes, just go talk to the guy? He was also a super powerful <laughs> paladin that challenged us to a battle. Well, this so. guy's a priest. Maybe he knows a spell or two. I mean... Did you get any more information other than that, Abigail? Uh, without opening my mouth, I say no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to open your mouth at least somewhat. Ah, yeah. oh, damn it. I mean, oh, that's perfect, the art. Yeah, I'm not it's quite okay. sure what you think of ventriloquism, <laughs> yeah. but ventriloquism your voice is doesn't originate you... from a new place. Like... Yeah. I go like, <laughs> My butthole says no. <laughs> Ventriloquism <laughs> works by talking without moving your mouth. It's not that now you don't open your mouth. My left nipple says maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get a, a little wooden dummy. Yeah, exactly. Maybe get a. We'll go dig up Mr. Mugwuggles and you can make him talk. That's be you, fun. you need to buy a puppet somewhere. <laughs> I know. I really need a puppet, guys. <laughs> oh god. So he didn't tell you anything else <laughs> about Uncle Orifice. Um. Not that I remember of. So really, we're, we're no, just going to get thing. some random guy in some random town south of here. Yep. He says we need to go get the priest and bring it to the tower. Neil, are we still and in the tower? His name is Uncle Loris. No, you he guys have left the tower. Corbin at the southeast. He wants him alive, uninjured. And Does he live in Corbin, Dallas? <laughs> Does he Corbin have South a multi pass? <laughs> or deep pass. Multi -pass. Oh, Chicken. I tried to get him a, like a free pass to a nut fear aura, but it didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's just head towards the town and you know see what happens. Cut his head off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's fucking just, just go, go kill, kill him. him. Fuck Del. Fucking ass. Because he didn't really say dead or alive. He just said bring him back. Right. So let's. No. Bring him back. No, no. Before no, this no, shit no, starts no, again, no. he did say alive. You I'm being stupid sarcastic. fuck. <laughs> Gregor is being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> he no made it funny. No chubby chub thing. No chubby chub thing. Uh, no slapping. All right. I cut his head off. Let me just... I'll put that in now. Okay. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, can we start traveling? What Do you guys want to yeah. go now? You want to wait uh, the next day? Or do you have anything you want to do in town? Yeah, no, we can, we can leave now. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if there's nothing to do in town, um, it's been about an hour since we started, uh, almost exactly, so we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we will journey southward to Corbin to find the Uncle Orifice, or whatever the fuck this guy's name is. Some weird task that we've been sent on, so don't go anywhere. More roleplay coming up right after this. <laughs> 